strategos or strategos, plural strategoi, Greek, strategos place. Strategoi Doric Greek, strategos strategos, meaning, army leader, is used in Greek to mean military general. In the Hellenistic world and the Byzantine Empire the term was also used to describe a military governor. In the modern Hellenic army it is the highest officer rank. Topic. Etymology Strategos is a compound of two Greek words, stratus and agos. Stratus, stratus means army, literally, that which is spread out, coming from the Proto-Indo-European root asterisk stare, to spread. Agos, agos means, leader, from agen, to lead. From the proto iota ndo epsilon European root asterisk ag to drive, draw out or forth, move. Topic: Classical Greece. Topic: Athens. In its most famous attestation, in classical Athens, the office of strategos existed already in the 6th century BC, but it was only with the reforms of Cleisthenes in 501 BC that it assumed its most recognizable form. Cleisthenes instituted a board of ten strategoi who were elected annually, one from each tribe file. The ten were of equal status, and replaced the polemarchos, who had hitherto been the senior military commander. At the Battle of Marathon in 490 BC, according to Herodotus, they decided strategy by majority vote, and each held the presidency in daily rotation. At this date, the Polemarchos had a casting vote, and one view among modern scholars is that he was the commander in chief, but from 486 onwards, the Polemarchos, like the other Archontes, was appointed by lot. The annual election of the strategoi was held in the spring, and their term of office coincided with the ordinary Athenian year, from midsummer to midsummer. If a strategos died or was dismissed from office, a by-election might be held to replace him. The strict adherence to the principle of a strategos from each tribe lasted until c. 440 BC, after which two strategoi could be selected from the same tribe and another tribe be left without its own strategos, perhaps because no suitable candidate might be available. This system continued at least until c. 356 7 BC, but by the time Aristotle wrote his Constitution of the Athenians in c. 330 BC, the appointments were made without any reference to tribal affiliation. Hence, during the Hellenistic period, although the number of the tribes was increased, the number of strategoi remained constant at ten. In the early part of the 5th century, several strategoi combined their military office with a political role, with Themistocles, Aristides, Simon, or Pericles among the most notable, nevertheless their power derived not from their office, but from their own personal political charisma. As political power passed to the civilian rhetors in the later 5th century, the strategoi were limited to their military duties. Originally, the strategoi were appointed ad hoc to various assignments. On campaign, several, usually up to three, strategoi might be placed jointly in command. Unlike other Greek states, where the Nauachos commanded the navy, the Athenian strategoi held command both at sea and on land. From the middle of the 4th century, the strategoi increasingly were given specific assignments, such as the strategos epi 10 corin, strategos epa 10 corin for the defense of Attica, the strategos epi 2 hoplitas, strategos epa 2 hoplitas in charge of expeditions abroad, the two strategoi epi ton peraia, strategoi epa ton peraia responsible for the war harbor of Piraeus, and the strategos epi tas simorias, strategos epa tas Simori is responsible for the equipment of the warships. This was generalized in Hellenistic times, when each strategos was given specific duties. One of them, the strategos epi ta hopla, strategos epa ta hopla ascended to major prominence in the Roman period, the Athenian people kept a close eye on their strategoi. 
like other magistrates, at the end of their term of office they were subject to euthana and in addition there was a vote in the ecclesia during every pratani on the question whether they were performing their duties well. If the vote went against anyone, he was deposed and as a rule tried by jury. Pericles himself in 430 was removed from office as strategos and fined, and in 406 the eight strategoi who commanded the fleet at the Battle of Arginusae were all removed from office and condemned to death. Topic. Other Greek states The title of strategos appears for a number of other Greek states in the classical period, but it is often unclear whether this refers to an actual office, or is used as a generic term for military commander. The strategos as an office is attested at least for Syracuse from the late 5th century BC, Erythrae, and in the Koinon of the Arcadians in the 360s BC, the title of strategos autocrator was also used for generals with broad powers, but the extent and nature of these powers was granted on an ad hoc basis. Thus Philip II of Macedon was elected as strategos autocrator, commander-in-chief with full powers, of the League of Corinth. Topic. Hellenistic and Roman use Under Philip II of Macedon, the title of strategos was used for commanders on detached assignments as the quasi-representatives of the king, often with a title indicating their area of responsibility, e.g. strategos tes Europe's strategos of Europe. In several Greek city leagues the title strategos was reserved for the head of state. In the Aetolian League and the Achaean League, where the strategos was annually elected, he was the eponymous chief of civil government and the supreme military commander at the same time. Two of the most prominent leaders re-elected many times to the office in the Achaean League, were Aratus of Sicyon and Philippoamen of Megalopolis. Strategoi are also reported in the Arcadian League, in the Epirote Republique and in the Acarnanian League, whereas the leaders of the Boeotian League and the Thessalian League had different titles, Boeoterch and Tagus respectively. In the Hellenistic empires of the Diadochi, notably Lagad Egypt, for which most details are known, strategos became a gubernatorial office combining civil with military duties. In Egypt, the strategoi were originally responsible for the Greek military colonists established in the country. Quickly, they assumed a role in the administration alongside the nomarches, the governor of each of the country's gnomes, and the oikonomos, in charge of fiscal affairs. Already by the time of Ptolemy II Philadelphus R. 283 to 246 BC, the strategos was the head of the provincial administration, while conversely his military role declined, as the Clarochoi were progressively demilitarized. Ptolemy V Epiphanes R. 204 to 181 BC established the office of Epistrategos over general to oversee the individual strategoi. The latter had become solely civilian officials, combining the role of the nomarches and the oikonomos, while the epistrategos retained powers of military command. In addition, hypostrategoi sing, hypostrategos, epostrategos could be appointed as subordinates. The Ptolemaic administrative system survived into the Roman period, where the epistrategos was subdivided in three to four smaller offices, and the procurator ad epistrategium was placed in charge of the strategoi. The office largely retained its Ptolemaic functions and continued to be staffed by the Greek population of the country. The Odrysian kingdom of Thrace was also divided into strategii, general ships each headed by a strategos, based on the various Thracian tribes and subtribes. At the time of the kingdom's annexation into the Roman Empire in 46 AD, there were 50 such districts, which were initially retained in the new Roman province, and only gradually fell out of use. It was not until c. 136 that the last of them were abolished. Under the Roman Republic and later through the Principate, Greek historians often used the term strategos when referring to the Roman political, military office of praetor. 
Such a use can be found in the New Testament. Acts of the Apostles 1620 refers to the magistrates of Philippi as strategoi. Strate correspondingly, antistrategos, antistrategos, vice general, was used to refer to the office of propraetor. Topic: <laughs> Byzantine use. The term continued in use in the Greek-speaking Byzantine Empire. Initially, the term was used along with stratolates and, less often, stratopedarches, to render the supreme military office of Magister Militum the general in command of a field army, but could also be employed for the regional duches. In the 7th century, with the creation of the theme system, their role changed, as the field armies were resettled and became the basis for the territorial themes, their generals too assumed new responsibilities, combining their military duties with the civil governance of the theme. The first themes were few and very large, and in the 8th century, the provincial strategoi were in constant antagonism with the emperor at Constantinople, rising often in rebellion against him. In response, the themes were progressively split up and the number of strategoi increased, diluting their power. This process was furthered by the conquests of the 10th century, which saw the establishment of several new and smaller frontier themes, while in c. 842 the Tacticon Uspensky lists 18 strategoi, the Escorial Tacticon, written c. 971-975, lists almost 90. Throughout the Middle Byzantine period 7th-12th centuries, the strategos of the Anatolic theme enjoyed precedence over the others and constituted one of the highest off offices of the state, and one of the few from which eunuchs were specifically barred. At the same time, the Eastern Anatolian themes were senior to the Western European ones. This distinction was especially marked in the pay of their presiding strategoi. While those of the Eastern themes received their salary directly from the state treasury, their counterparts in the West had to raise their markedly lower pay from the proceeds of their provinces. During the 11th century, the strategoi were gradually confined to their military duties, their fiscal and administrative responsibilities being taken over by the civil crite, judges. Senior military leadership also devolved on the hands of a new class of officers titled dukes or catapano, who were placed in control of regional commands combining several themes. By the 13th century, the term strategos had reverted to the generic sense of general devoid of any specific technical meaning the byzantines also used a number of variations of the title strategos strategites strategy army leader was an infrequently used alternative term the term monostrategos monostrategos single general designated a general placed in command over other strategoi or over the forces of more than one theme the term strategos autocrator archistrategos archistrategos chief general and protostrategos, protostrategos, first general, designated commanders vested with supreme authority, and the term hypostrategos, hypostrategos, under general, denoted a second in command, effectively a lieutenant general. Topic in Messina. The city of Messina in Sicily also had a strategos. In 1345 Orlando d'Aragona, illegitimate son of Frederick II of Sicily, held that position. Topic. Modern use In the modern Hellenic army, a strategos the spelling remains strategos is the highest officer rank. The superior rank of Stratarchus field marshal existed under the monarchy, but has not been retained by the current Third Hellenic Republic. Under the monarchy, the rank of full strategos in active service was reserved for the king and a few other members of the royal family, with very few retired career officers promoted to the rank as an honorary rank. Since c. 1970, the rank is held in active service by the Chief of the General Staff of National Defense, when he is an army officer, and is granted to the retiring Chief of the Hellenic Army General Staff. 
All but one of the other Greek general officer ranks are derivations of this word, antistratagos and epostratagos, for lieutenant general and major general, respectively. A brigadier general however is called taxirchos, after a taxis in modern usage taxiarchia, which means brigade. The ranks of antistratagos and epostratagos are also used by the Hellenic police and the Greek gendarmerie before, the Greek fire service and the Cypriot National Guard, which lack the grade of full strategos. Topic. Fictional uses The oldest use of the term strategos in fiction may be found in the Kalerho of Chariton of Aphrodisias which is dated in the 1st century AD there, Hermocrates is the strategos of Syracuse and the father of Kalerho, living in the 5th century BC. In fact, he was a historical person, the victor over the Athenians in 413 BC, an event which stopped Athenian expansion to the west. His role as a character in the novel is rather limited. Although his position in Syracuse gives Kalerho a background, and he gives consent to her marriage and fulfills a few official duties, his legal or constitutional position is not very clear. This position was featured in Orson Scott Card's novel Ender's Game. In the novel, the position of Strategos was charged with overall command of solar system defense. The strategos, along with the positions of Polemark responsible for the international fleet of space warships, and the hegemon the political leader of Earth, rather like a stronger version of the Secretary General of the United Nations, was one of the three most powerful people alive. During an earlier war described in the novel, because of a belief in their inherent luck and brilliance, specifically, that no Jewish general had ever lost a war, all three positions were filled with Jewish people, an American Jew as Hegemon, an Israeli Jew as Strategos, and a Russian Jew as Polmark. The defeat of the Formics by half Maori Mazer Rackham changed this position. Bean Julian Delphiki was given the title of Strategos by Peter Wiggin after he assumed the role of Hegemon. The prequel novel Earth Awakens establishes that the position of strategos was named after the Strategoi, a group of international military commanders in charge of the Mobile Operations Police, which served as the model for the newly created international fleet. The first strategos was Lieutenant Colonel Yulian Robinov of the Russian Ministry of Defense, who served as the chair of the Strategoi during the first invasion. The dystopian slave empire of the Draca, in the series of books by S. M. Sterling, also uses strategos, together with many other military ranks and terms drawn from classical antiquity, though often with only the loosest resemblance to what they originally meant. The position of strategos was also featured in the English-language version of the Sunrise anime The Vision of Escaflone. The character Falcon occupied the position when he served the Zybok Empire. It is also used in Ava's Demon for Stratego's 6. 